Hello, my name is Hui Qidai. I'm a PhD candidate from Sun Yat-sen University in China. The paper I will be presenting today is Toxin K Residue Top C, Progress Made and Poems Ahead. Here I will briefly introduce k structure and its function, as well as k media signal and pathway. Besides, I will also introduce k mutation with a special focus on k C, as well as its inhibitor development. k is a G-protein which cycles between GTP or GDP bound form. The N-terminal residues forms a functionally conserved G domain. By contrast, the C-terminal residues are highly divergent in sequences and hence turn the hypervariable region. Furthermore, the G domains can be divided into the effector lobe and the allosteric lobe. So how do carriers by GTP or GDP? Several motifs that are conserved in the whole rest superfamilies are involved in GTP or GDP binding, that is G motif G1 to G5. G1 is also called the P loop. P represents phosphate and G2 and G3. Both are very close to the phosphate group, but G2 mainly interact with the magnesium ion. G4 and G5 on the other side interacts with the guanine base. G protein has a universal switch mechanism. The left picture of the P is the low spring mechanism in which the red represents the switch one regions and the blue indicates the switch two regions. We can see that T35 and G60 at the spring ankle at the gamma phosphate of GTP thus tighten the conformations of KRS. However, upon hydrolysis of GTP, these interactions disappear and the switches recoil into their inactive state. So these two switch regions are whose confirmation of switches when GTP replaces GDP. So now let's talk about carrier's media signal and pathway. Upon stimulations of EGF, R carrier's is turned on by GF. Keras GTP is implicated in initiating downstream signal and pathway, including red mark, ERK, MPI, free KA, KT, and TOR signal and pathway, which is responsible for cell proliferation and cell survival and metabolic changes, etc. And GAP, on the other hand, catalyzes the hydrolysis of GTP, thus terminating this signal cascade. Although white type K red cycle between GTP and GDP bound form. This is not the case for mutant carriers. The picture shows the locations of GTOP and G13 in P loop and Q61 in the switch two regions. Because of their close proximity to the bound nucleotide mutations at these residues always impair with GTP hydrolysis activity, but sparing the persistent formations of carriers GTP and the activation of their downstream signal and pathway, eventually leading to tumor genesis. The data from Cosmic database show that among all res, isoform k res is the most frequently mutated overall. And the vast majority of these mutations occur at GTOF. In the right graph, we can see the k res GTOF C mutation landscape in 10 cancer types. Overall, k res GTOF C mutations is frequent in numb small cell lung cancer cells and colon rectal cancer. So now let's have a look at k res GTOF C inhibitor. Various G-TOPC inhibitors can be categorized into alpha-steric inhibitors or allosteric inhibitors. Allosteric inhibitors project into the allosteric pocket, namely the switch to a pocket. And alpha-steric inhibitors compete with nucleotide binding. Allosteric inhibitors selectively recognize the GDP bound form of k res It prevents k from binding to GTP plus locking carriers in its inactive state. The trend of allosteric inhibitors start with the discovery of CCH05 series of compounds. Oster made his colleague use a method of disulfide-based screaming approach. 
first leading to the identification of the novel binding site, that is switch two poking underneath the switch two reading. As for AI series of compounds, they have an acrylamide warhead, such as ARS853. And this molecule has been subsequently modified with a quinazolide called scaffold. Leading to the identifications of ARS 1620. As for MRTS849, it has a texture hydro pyridol pyramiding core, which is very different from the previous one. It's superb in pharmacokinetic and show, shows promising results in the clinic. AMG510 has extraordinary binding power for carrier street of C. It's currently the only one carrier street of C selective inhibitor in clinical phase three trial. And JDQ443 and GDC6036 are two novel molecules targeting carrier street of C under development. JDQ443 has a five methy pyrosol core and avoids direct interactions with the drug resistant H95. GDC6036 features a highly reactive acrylamide warhead and to densely functionalized crinazolide cores and pyridine heterozygotes. This suggests that talking carriers is indeed positive in promising results are on the horizon for treating patients with carriers mutated cancers. Thanks for listening.